Hi, welcome to Couples Therapy Bites. I'm Steven. I'm Erin. And we are back. We've taken uh, an extended leave of absence yes. unintentionally. We didn't know that's what we were doing. We just, frankly, we just didn't have it in us. Right. Life became overwhelming and we just... We were done. Um, couldn't get to this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to some extent, I think we still feel a little done, but I think we are, we are finding some language and we are finding some opportunities for reflection, which is what we wanted to talk to you about today. Yeah. Um, Stephen came up with this, that our life and perhaps all of life and relationship, our couple relationship is like a yoga pose. So it's very um, zen, isn't it? Couples <laughs> therapy bites is a yoga pose. <laughs> um, no, but I think that the, yeah. the, the three things sort of, you know, how Stephen loves a list, the three things that he was saying that make this feel really true and helpful are in a yoga pose, you accept the yoga pose. You accept the discomfort of it. Mm -hmm. um, not that it's supposed to hurt, but like you, you accept the, this the, is the strain pose. of what you're doing for the pose. Yeah. You have to breathe into the pose because um, that helps you sustain. Yeah, send that um, oxygen, get some deep breaths. Um, and then I, I really do think you have to hope. You, you have to hope that by doing this exercise, by doing this yoga, it's going to help me be healthy. And I feel like that is our life right now. Um, we are, we're definitely in the midst of some difficult things, um, some things that we cannot control, some things that we can't reject, like we have to fix our house, we have to deal with the fact that we've been dealing with death, we have to deal with the fact that that's been hard for our kids, yeah. that's been hard for us, like we, we have to accept that. There are some things um, that happened to us we wouldn't have chosen. Right. We would do a lot of things to have done it differently, right. but that is the way it is, and we we can't pretend like it's not true, and we can't put that pretty bow on it and say, "Yeah, but it's so much better now." It's not. Or it's, like it's, God it's has a plan for this, like yeah. the, the cheer up mentality. Either yeah. it's it's a real a real acceptance. Yeah. If God has a plan for this. I I don't like the plan, mm -hmm. um, but I I think that yeah. So so we've had to accept this difficult time. And then that idea of breathing into it, because the breathing in and yoga is what helps you sustain the, the difficulty or the discomfort. And I feel like for us, breathing in has been like uh, being honest, being yeah. sincere, um, sitting there crying with our kids, sitting there crying with each other, sitting there being angry, feeling depressed, having really bad days, like not treating each other well, and then coming back and saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't treat you well. Like, just struggling. struggling. <laughs> I, I, I feel right. like that, that like, in, in not denying that we are struggling and having a hard time. I think that's the breathing in. I think so oftentimes we just want to say, oh, no, it's a, we're good, it's fine, no. And like, we just can't do that. Like, yeah, everybody, are, I assume that you've heard the um, beach ball thing. You know, you try to hold the beach ball underwater. You try to say, yeah, like, yeah. it's sad, it's okay, but we're doing okay. It's sad, <laughs> so it's okay, wonderful. but we're doing okay. Yeah, yeah and, and I think we all do that in various ways. Um, I don't like to be sad. <laughs> I don't know anybody yeah. who really does yeah. that. I particularly avoid that. It's hard for me, and eventually I get mad about it. So I'm way more comfortable being angry than sad. Yeah. And so for me, it is being sad. Um, it is allowing space for myself mm -hmm. to be sad. Yeah. It is um, receiving feedback on what it's like for me to be sad. And it is recognizing when I'm feeling angry that likely I'm feeling sad and I'm, I'm resisting that. Mm -hmm. I'm holding that beach ball down and it is coming out in a way that isn't particularly helpful for me or the people who happen to love me yeah. love me um, and and yours is different right um, perhaps but that's the breathing in like whatever it looks like you you have to breathe into it but also like yes. I think the hope part you you have to hope that this hard work is in a sense going to lead to a healthy place and I and I think that for us and like our anniversary um, and which you know is coming up and and I think that whenever anniversaries come up, you always like look back and say, so how are we doing? Where have we come? And I think that what's been so unique or helpful for us is like to look back at our 11 years and say, you know what, We're, we've been, there's these hard things going on. There's these things we've had to accept, these things we have to breathe into. Um, and we've always done it with the hopes that we will still be together. We'll still be loving each other. We'll still be close. And, and I think that 
doing that kind of thing causes you to be close. And I, and I think that we can say that and say that we feel that way. Things aren't wonderful, <laughs> but... Yeah, we, our circumstances aren't different. Right, but we still love each other and, and we still want to be together. And, and that's the hope part. Um, and so I... In yoga, to, to sort of beat the metaphor to yeah. the ground, the reason I really like, I like yoga is it actually provides space in my body. My body can get really sort of compacted mm -hmm. and... Um, I can, I can have some pain actually in different parts. I'm feeling my lower back right now. That's where I usually feel it. And yoga, when I do it, it's, it stretches it out. It provides space in my body. Yeah. Um, and it is the truth for us too. Yeah. So even doing the hard things still can provide like space for health, you know, yes. and space for the other person space yeah. for, for me to be feeling sad and for Steven to be feeling happy and for us to be yeah. able to be in the same room. And for that to be okay, and for us to be able to still be in the same room and be together yeah. in a different um, state. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So we're back. We're we're doing yoga. Uh, we're accepting the challenge. We're breathing into the challenge, and we're hoping that it um, brings overall health uh, for our relationship. And so, um, we're we're glad to be back. Uh, we hope that. Um, You'll come along with us uh, again as, as we journey on. Yeah, and we want to thank you all for reaching out to us over these last couple of weeks, checking in on us, yeah, for yeah. missing us. Yeah for, for, yeah, for asking for us to come back. We, we really appreciate that. Um, we'd love to hear your comments below. Um, always don't be shy. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and uh, Share us with your friends. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot.